All right, gang, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop for another custom Hot Wheels build. Today we're going to be doing another Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. I haven't done one of these for a while. Um, the last time I did one was my Bad News Bone Shaker. And we're going to be kind of going along the same lines uh, with this car. Uh, this was an old parts car that I had laying around that I sourced the motor or something out of it. Um, the idea for this one is we're going to do a really cool kind of... Um, 50 style hot rod kind of inspired by one of my favorite uh, T hot rods of the 50s and uh, we'll take a look at a picture of that at some point in the video really cool car I'm gonna be heavily inspired by that car um, so this thing's already torn apart uh, we'll take another uh, or a, we'll take a look at this one the chassis off of here so here's a look at our chassis. We're obviously not going to be running these wheels. Here's a look underneath the car. Here is our interior piece. And there are there's no glass or windows uh, in these bone shakers. So the idea that I have for this one, we're going to be getting rid of that hood, build a firewall for this thing. Um, we're going to obviously strip this thing, give it a nice custom candy paint job. Uh, I'm going to make a top or a roof for this thing and do it matching color to the interior. Um, we're going to put a cool engine in this thing with some cool exhaust, uh, some nice uh, wheels and tires, um, and then detail out the interior. And then by the end of this thing, we should have a really sweet, really bitchin' hot rod. Uh, so the thing's already torn apart. Next step is going to be just to get that body stripped and then start doing some of the metal work on it, like getting rid of that hood and then uh, baking a firewall and a roof. And then we'll take another look at this thing once I make some more progress on it. All right, gang, we are back on our bone shaker build here. It no longer looks anything like a bone shaker that you normally see from Hot Wheels. Um, but this thing's coming along really cool. Got the thing really torn apart, stripped, and we've already done a ton of work on this thing. Um, those wheels on here uh, really are going to work out cool. Those are from Maisto. Um, they're kind of bigs and littles. Um, they're probably going to stay white walls, but the rims are going to get painted to look like chrome. And those should look really cool. Um, we got the... the uh, hood cut off um i got some tires sitting in here because once you cut the hood off there's nothing to support the front of the body and it just kind of wants to tip forward um so we're gonna have to build a firewall and that'll support the front of the body um the original seats in the car are like these two um kind of bomber style bucket seats i'm not planning on running those we're gonna run the stock dash and steering wheel um, but in the car right now um, let's see where are we I've got a seat out of a it's a bench seat out of a Hot Wheels 32 Ford um, it's still it the width of the seat is perfect um, but it's a little bit tall like the back of the seat sticking up into the the little back window there and uh, so we're gonna have to section the bottom of the seat down to lower it and then uh, trim the back of the seat to move it back towards the uh, back of the body. And then that should work out really good. Um, I trimmed that out so that we still have the little shifter there. Um, and then I just detached the, the seat part um, from this rear part so we can still keep our gas tank. Um, I'm planning on making a roof for this car. Um, so we'll have like a roof insert. That'll be matching the interior color. Um, and then we trimmed out, we had to trim out, um, there was like a piece that stuck up where the engine goes that I had to get trimmed out. And then this car comes um, with some molded like disc brakes up front and out back. And in my opinion, those just have no business being on an old hot rod. So those are gone. I um, started trimming out the front of the frame there. In front of that the front axle um, that's all coming along really good um, as far as the engine goes for this car um, we sourced this engine 
um, out of a Matchbox 57 Chevy um, with the tilt front. I had old beat up one laying around. Cut this motor out of it. We're going to have to make an engine block out of some epoxy, but that's going to look really cool on this car. And then uh, sourced these lake style headers that I like to use on a lot of my hot rod builds off of Hot Wheels Mod Rod. Um, and then I'm playing around with, we're either going to use um, a grill shell off a of Hot Wheels 32 Ford. That's probably what we're going to use. But I also have one of these grill shells off of a um, Hot Wheels Mod Rod um, that looks kind of cool on here, actually. So I'm playing around with, we'll either be using that or the 32 Ford grill. Um, but uh, basically, that is where we are at right now. Um, the only other thing that I might do on this car is make some front wishbones for it. Um, and I'm debating if I want to make like a kind of a tonneau cover on the on the back or just leave it open like it is. I'm not really a big fan of the, the battery and the little like wires or whatever they are coming out of there. It just looks kind of not, not super clean. So I either might just get rid of all that or make a bed cover. Not sure yet. Um... So that's kind of what we all got to do, and that's a wrap. But this thing looks really cool. Should be super sweet once we're done. Hope you guys are digging this. Um, and we'll take another look at it once we make some more progress. All right, guys. So we're making some progress on our bone shaker build here. Um, it still is kind of a mess, but uh, we've definitely made some progress. Um, so we got the wheels painted chrome like how I wanted them to. Uh, basically, for the most part, got the axle sorted out. Um, this we I got the motor, the uh, engine block made out of some epoxy. Um, I still got some cleaning up to do to get it just the right shape, but I basically got that roughed in. Um, made a firewall on the car out of some clear plastic, just you know using an old Hot Wheels blister. Um, Finish shaving the seat down so that now sits in the car just like how I wanted it to. Um, that fits really good. Um, we're going to be running um, this grill off of the um, Hot Wheels Mod Rod. Um, that should look pretty cool once I get it finished uh, cleaning it up. And then we're going to paint it detailed to match the rest of the car. Um, like I talked about in the beginning of the video, it's going to be the kind of a mid to late 50s. Um, kind of a show rod type car, so everything will be nice painted and finished. Uh, basically, all that's left to do, um, you've already seen the exhaust um, that I'm going to be running. That's also off a of Hot Wheels Mod Rod. Um, these leg style headers, got those ready to rock and roll. Um, got the dashboard cut out. Oops. I have the dashboard, I just dropped it. Um, but it's just a stock bone shaker dashboard that I cut out. Um, that's ready to go. Basically, the only thing left to do besides cleaning up and prepping everything, we're going to make a top for this car. And then this thing will be ready for painting and detailing. So I think the next time we're going to take a look at this car will be at the final unveil. So we'll see you at the final unveil. Check out this sweet rod. All right, gang, it is time for the final unveil on our Hot Wheels Bone Shaker that we did up as an absolutely bitchin' uh, 50 style hot rod, traditional style, all the way on this one. And it came out looking absolutely awesome, just like what I had in my head when I wanted to do this build. And as you guys have seen, a absolute ton of work went into this car, but it was definitely all worth it because it came out absolutely beautiful. Did this thing out one of my all time favorite colors to use, which is a purplicious from Testers, and uh, basically accented everything else out in um, whites. We custom made a top for this car and did that out in a flat white. Uh, we've got a bench seat with tuck and roll upholstery in this car that came out of a 32 Ford. That's done in a flat white also. Um, the dashboard had to uh, be trimmed down and, and sectioned and stuff. And that also is done out in a flat white. Uh, we had to custom make a firewall for this thing. That's done out in chrome um, with a white band around it. 
Um, this car was heavily inspired by a car that was done back in the 50s. We weren't really doing a replica of that car, but just bringing a lot of the flavor of that car because I really dig it onto uh, this one. Um, we got that super cool matchbox um, engine with the dual fours on it. Um, I custom made the block out of some um, epoxy and then painted the engine um, chrome and then the block is um, gloss white. Those really nice chrome lake style headers were sourced off a Hot Wheels mod rod along with the front grille shell which I think really looks cool on this car. Um, great choice. I think I'm definitely going to be using that again on maybe a 32 Ford or something. Um, I think that's going to be a really cool um, grill because it really does look um, kind of traditional and super custom. Uh, if you just put it on the right car, painted that body color and then painted the uh, the grill insert itself, um, chrome. The whole frame is painted chrome. Um, the back um, wheel inserts are painted flat white. Um, these super awesome wheels, those are from my stole, and uh, we painted the rims chrome and then left the wide whites um, just like how they came from my stole. Um, in the bed, detailed out the battery, left the gas tank chrome, basically just kind of full on show car with this one, so a lot of the suspension was left chrome. Um, here's a look at the back of the car. Um, Here's a look at the passenger side of the car. Painted some front wishbones on because this car doesn't have anything from Hot Wheels. Um, taking a look underneath the car, just did the whole frame all purple with some chrome like on the oil pan and stuff. But just wanted to go full on 50s kind of show rod. I think we hit the nail on the head with this one. Again, if you guys really dig this car, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you think of it. Uh, I'm super happy with it. I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber to Hanson Speed Shop. Because if you dig this car, there's tons more cool stuff like this on the way. There's tons of cool stuff to go check out on the channel. Until next time, stick around for some more pictures of this thing. Otherwise, get out work on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool. And we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.